guys, it's Alpia Shadow Beats here and welcome back to my channel. So this is part four, part four, part three to this cross series. Today we're gonna start working on the bread, the food basically, and we're gonna decorate the cafe a bit more. We're gonna finish off the inside and then we might work start working on the outside of the cafe as well. So yeah, let's just get right on into it. Let's go. Okay, so I just want to show you what we've built so far actually. So this is a shoe box I've used. So it should have this front piece that can fold up and down it should not be stuck to these sides over here it should like be free we have a desk some tables and then over here we should have a cash register so a display counter a chair a menu and a door let's get started on the crafting now so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some food or drinks and stuff we're gonna make this drink here this is perfect size for lps i'll uh, show comparison here this is basically this dragon fruit drink it's not completely dried it'll be dry soon and i'll show you what it looks like later you can't really see it much but if you guys are interested in how to make this then please feel free to continue okay so the first thing you're going to need is this i don't know what you call them i got these plastic tube things these are my covid testings i've washed them and everything so they are perfectly like clean you're just going to need this tip part right here if you don't have any of these then you can definitely just use um something basically that is like this shape and it has like this surface here what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut how tall you want your cup to be i'm just gonna estimate how tall i want mine to be i'm just gonna go ahead and cut my other one as well so we have our two cups there also we're gonna need if you have the COVID testings you also need these strap things if you don't then you can always use hot glue and try to make like a little handle hey guys sorry for the background noise um this is just a little quick edit thing it is super hot so the noise could be my fan blowing because it is hot oh my god it is so hot it's like 29 degrees oh my god the hot glue thing you need some parchment paper pretend this is my parchment paper this is just a sheet of paper but this is going to be your parchment paper and basically you're going to get your hot glue gun pretend this is my hot glue gun and you're going to shape a curved shape so you're going to use lots of glue and you're just going to blot it into a C. Make sure to do it small because that's going to be the handle. Then you're going to wait for it to dry. When it's dry, you can peel it off. Remember guys, it has to be parchment paper because then if it's not, then it won't be able to peel off the paper. Parchment paper helps the hot glue to peel off basically. That's what I'm mean when it's dry you peel the hot glue off and that's how you get the handle okay so i cut off the straps now we don't need this anymore so we can put them off to the side okay so first thing you want to do is you're going to get your sandpaper but we're gonna get the cup and we're just gonna sand it down you don't have to do this if you don't want to it just makes it all smooth and stuff and even this is really small and tedious sorry if i'm really quiet i should talk louder next step you're going to use the handle and you're going to measure how much you're going to use i'm going to trim off this and the leftover thing you're gonna need that later so yeah i'm gonna do that to the other one as well all right so once you've done that you're going to just check again to see if this is going to be around the same size as the cup mine is that's good so what you're gonna do now is you're going to apply glue to the bottom of the handle and the top of the handle but i'm gonna do the bottom first so put the handle there top of the handle I'm just gonna apply some glue like that and it'll probably just stick on like that and then now i'm just gonna let that to dry and have to put it off to the side and now we're gonna do it to the next one now you make however you how many you want i'm just gonna make three so while that's drying you can start with this next step so you're gonna want some glue that like you can squeeze out i'm using my copy glue make sure it dries clear or if it, you don't want it to dry clear that's perfectly fine as well so what you're gonna do is you're going to get your cup and you're gonna squeeze some glue into the cup and then just try even it out but leave it to dry now and you're gonna do the same to the other cups leave them out to dry if you guys want to make like a fruit drink like that's what i made for the dragon fruit drink i showed you before then please continue and if you don't then just leave these to dry i don't want to make these two dragon fruits so i'm just going to show you this one that i made this one i then quickly grab some of these um fruit charms i don't know if they're nail art charms or whatever they are but here they are like many fruit sizes i don't know what you call that so i grabbed the dragon fruit one and i popped like a few inside then i grabbed these ice cube things and i sprinkled it inside to make it look like ice cubes and then i added some red paint just to you know pretend like that's drizzle i just left that to dry so yeah if you are gonna like make don't want to make like these juices and you just want to make coffee or tea then you want to save these bits for later i'm just gonna cut it a bit smaller so 
it looks more like the ice cubes because if you guys want to make your drinks look like iced coffee then yeah we're gonna leave those to dry and then we're gonna move on to the next food item so the next thing we're gonna make is some bread so i have some t you're gonna need some tissue so this is inspired by my froggy stuff's craft and how she made bread and stuff so if you want a detailed explanation of how she made it then go and check out her channel and just search up DIY how to make bread my froggy stuff or something and it should pop up or something this craft is inspired by her so yeah all credit goes to her but i'm just gonna rip some so you're gonna want to wet your tissue and then you're gonna mold it into the shape you want your bread to be in and then you're just gonna keep applying i mean keep adding and adding wet tissue to make it more thick so this is my wet tissue just scrunched up i'm just gonna add more and more I'm going to make lots of bread because this is going to be like a bread shop kind of thing. I just made a few right now. So I made these two big baguette kind of things and lots of these buns. So now I'm just going to leave them to dry and then we'll get back to them later when they're dry. I don't know how long you're going to have to wait to dry. I'm going to leave it for a day just to make sure it's actual, like, actually dry. I'm going to leave this to the side now. Oh yeah, make sure to make your tissue like work fast when you do it because it will get like really wet and you can't mold it. And you're going to want all those wrinkles so yeah it's fine if it gets wrinkly and broken a lot of stuff okay so now we're gonna work on the pot like the interior more in the shop and we're gonna make some plants now to put on the table so what you're gonna need is some green tissue paper or something green like paper and then you're gonna want some beads so i have my bead box here again um i have six tables so i'm gonna need six plants i need six beads of the same that are the same I'm gonna use these beads. Let me take them out. I also might make some other plants, so I'm just gonna take out some other beads as well to make the other plants. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of this. Actually, I'm not gonna use the green one. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your green paper and then you're going to cut just um, a little strip. I'm gonna cut around that from here all the way to the end. It doesn't matter how long your strip is or how big it is. Well, it depends on how big you want your plant to be so the width of this is going to be how big you want your leaves of your plant to be and then now you're just going to fold the paper like this just fold it and fold it till you think you are good i'm going to leave out of that now i'm going to cut out a leaf shape out of here so now I've cut out that leaf shape i'm going to unfold it if yours is not a leaf shape like mine don't worry about it it's it's fine really we can make it into a leaf shape later on some of them might not be cut throughout like this is stuck together that's fine um i'm going to leave this this side and just bring out these so you're going to grab some i'm going to get my plant pot here and you're going to just grab a few i'm going to get three for each of these that's 18 leaves one two three four five still need to get a few more if you don't have enough you can always cut more later which is what i'm gonna do so you're gonna grab one of the beads you're going to get your piece of paper you're gonna fold it in half and then i'm gonna trim the end a little bit just to make it a little shorter repeat those for the other three okay so now i have my three leaves since they're folded i'm gonna fold it again and i'm gonna glue it into place right here so i'm gonna apply glue to just the tip of the green thing like so fold it a bit again and then you're gonna put it into side bend the leaf a little back like so and you're going to do the same to the others make sure to put them in different positions to make it more realistic so here's mine all done so as you can see it looks more plant like and now i'm going to stick this to the middle of the tables like so make sure to be really really careful when you put them on because the table may break if it does then stick it on again and use the rubber to help it stand now you're going to repeat this for the other tables i forgot to say that you can also use your tweezers to help you and yes, I know these are the tweezers, these are like eyebrow pluckers, are they? I don't know, but I don't pluck my eyebrows, so these are perfect for tweezers anyways, because they're really small as well. So if you don't have tweezers, then use eyebrow pluckers, <laughs> I know it's stupid. But yeah, these are new, so don't use your own, they're, that will be gross. So now I have finished all the plants for the tables, and now I'm going to show you how to make the bigger plants. For the bigger plants, we're going to still cut the strip around the same size again. You won't need needing the rest anymore, just this strip. And then you're going to do the same steps like the other plant. We're going to fold it and fold and fold like so. But now we're going to actually put them out. Okay, so this technique I of the plan I use from my frogby stuff. And I'm gonna cut this this strip in half. Okay, and then now we're gonna just cut lines like this. 
going all the way down. So now it looks a bit like this. And then we're gonna glue the bottom half because we didn't go all the way down. You just snipped it a little bit. We're gonna glue that area where you didn't snip it all the way to the end. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll it. You're gonna roll it like this all the way down to the end. Okay, now it should look something like this. And then we're gonna pinch the bottom, pinch it like this. And then you're gonna pinch it sideways as well. So it looks like that. And then you're just gonna like try to fan out all the edges and bend them any way as possible just to make it like messy to make it look like a plant and then you're gonna apply glue to this bottom bit here and then we're gonna put it inside of the bead you can squeeze the bottom and it should fit in the bead and then once you do that then you can just like fan out the edges and everything and now you can put this in the corners of the shop or anywhere you want. Oop, and that's your big plan. I decided to make only two of these, so that's why you can only cut the strip into half. If you guys want to make more, then you just cut more and you cut the strip as many times as you want the amount of plants you want to make. So I put mine in this corner. I might put one in this corner over here. All right, so now everything is done for like the plants. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make a little basket and I'll show you why. Okay, so I made I made this basket earlier, um, it's this flower print one, I basically just printed out this paper that I really liked and then I folded it into a box. How you do it basically is basically you get actually paper like this, I'm just going to use this for example, and then you're going to trim the edges in any direction you want, like this, and then you're going to fold this over and then do this and do that basically like tabs and that's how you make up this box here so this box i'm gonna put some of these mosaic pieces that i have saved um you don't have to do this if you don't have any that's totally fine you can just put whatever you want in the box but i'm just gonna use this so i'm just gonna stack them like this these are gonna be like these cookies or whatever so yeah i'm gonna stick and stack them into this box so this is what the tray looks like so far and now i'm gonna add like a little price tag here oh there you go i'm gonna there you go it's not focusing i'm gonna add a little price tag on here cut a little piece of paper like this big and write a random price number on it i'm gonna say it's gonna be five dollars so i'm gonna write five dollars you can stick it on with any glue you want and then now you're gonna apply glue to the bottom remember how i didn't fill up that space i'm just gonna use this tray to cover that space so you can't even see that there was an empty space there i also have these little duck things i think i got them from japan when i went we went to this restaurant or something and this was like on the meal it wasn't on the meal but it was like beside it and stuff these are clean so i'm gonna put these around the shop you don't have to do this you can always just make your own but you can add your own style and anything i'm just gonna put this inside i'm gonna trim off the edge though because they're like toothpicks and i don't want them to do toothpicks i want them to be like poles and it won't be nice if it's pointy so i put one over here and i also put one over there i'm gonna save these two for later to put outside bee duck is natural thing i'm just gonna say in my lps world that this was like a sponsorship that they work with so they put it around the place i won't be naming Naming my actual cafe or bakery that actually I'm gonna name it Betty's. Like I said before, my bakery cafe is gonna call Betty's. I have this thing, there's actually a place called Betty's somewhere in the UK, it's really popular. I went there and I just wanted to keep these because they're really, really cool. So I'm going to remove any excess that is behind. So there's this and this, and I'm going to now stick this on the wall. I decided to put it there because it's in the middle and yeah, it just looks nicer. I also have some napkins that I took from there. And if you guys are thinking, yeah, I know it's kind of like copyright because like it's not my own like logo and everything. It's just for films and stuff. I'm not really copying. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Okay, so the buns and everything are starting to dry now. So I'm gonna go in ahead and get some paint out. And what am I gonna use is I'm gonna use some varnish, just ignore the blue, some yellow paint. I'm gonna use some of this crimson paint i'm not sure if i am or not but just to add those like darker tones and then i'm gonna use this yellow orchard paint as well Ooh, i don't think you can see i'm mixing the crimson and the yellow orchard i think it is i'm mixing it together and then i'm adding some water to get it like nice and smooth okay so i have my paper here so it doesn't drip and i have my paint here by my side and now we're just gonna start painting 
If it's not the appealing color to you, you can always just change it. I might change it later. This is the color I kind of want for now. I'm stabbing it-ish just to make sure the structure doesn't fall apart and stuff. And when I dab, it just helps it stick together more. Okay, so I have my monster eye stand here. I don't have a doll anymore because I sold it already, but I still have the stand and I keep the stand to like hold like custom and stuff. I'm just like placing it on here so like to let it dry and so I don't get my fingers dirty from the paint. I'm gonna cover the camera, so I'm gonna do this off camera. There are still some white spots in it, but I'm just gonna let it dry. When it does dry, I'm gonna go back and then fill those white spots. You might see it's like there's some hairs there. You just wanna use your paint and like slowly pat it down. Hey guys, I'm back. So I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while now since I've finished painting them. I made some more because, you know, I want to have more. So I have some up there and some down there. So anyways, they're not dry yet, so I'm gonna leave them overnight to dry. While that dries i'm gonna go ahead and make some more posters to put on the wall over on here so this wall over here and this wall over here i also added a little specials menu i don't think you can really tell it's a specials menu but you know another menu there just indicate that's a special so yeah uh, i don't think i've made any more changes now i'm gonna go make the posters what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna search online for some posters save them print them out and then i don't know how much i have fine but yeah Okay, I'm back and I printed these pictures here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them out. Also guys, if you're wondering what I did with the leftover paper, I don't throw it away. I don't waste it. I keep it till next time in case I need to use it another time. So I just keep it in like a little pile somewhere in my room. Okay, so they're all cut out now. So we have this little bread one. We have this one, this is freshly baked bread daily. <laughs> I couldn't read them. And then we have this other bread poster. So I'm gonna put glue on them and then I'm gonna stick them. Oops, I'm gonna stick them on the wall. Okay, so now we have some posters surrounding it. Basically, we're really done. We just need to do the food to put in the display case, which is drying right there. And then we need to finish off the drinks, which is still drying. So yeah, we can start working on the outside. So like I said in the beginning of this video, there should be like a little flap. This is going to be the outside bit. This is going to be like the front entryway. So I'm going to cut these edges just to make it all flat. And then I'll show you what to do next. Now I've cut those off. If you used a shoe box, then there should be the lid remaining. So that is going to be like what we're gonna use to try and make the front entryway. It should have this large space here of cardboard and we're gonna measure that and see if it can fit right here in front of the whole bakery. So we're gonna measure and then we're gonna cut that off. So I've made little marks where they are and then now I'm gonna disassemble this shoe lid and then yeah we're gonna start cutting out. Okay so I've finished cutting mine out and I'm just gonna see if it fits right there and it does now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to cut out where i want the door to be and then cut that out i put a mark around there and now i'm gonna cut along those lines to make the door you want to cut through all those lines because we're gonna make a new door anyways so here's the door here i'm just gonna keep that to the side don't throw it away we'll use that later so here's the door again i'm just gonna check to see if i like it and i do so now we're gonna work on the door so the door I want it to have some clearer spaces so I'm gonna use this as my template and I'm gonna bring out some more clear plastic. Okay so I've got my clear plastic here so I'm just gonna put the door on top of the plastic and just trace around it with a washerboard marker but I'm gonna do a little bit bigger than the door and now I'm gonna cut out this mark that we've made. Okay so now I've finished cutting my door I just need to wipe off the excess of this marker. Okay so now I've wiped it off just check again to see if it's the same size. If what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut strips to border this door and I cut the strips from the door that we cut out from the cardboard because then we don't have to do the arrangements or anything like that. Now we just need to glue it onto the sides of the door and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay so I finished cutting the borders for my door so this is what your door should look like and then now I'm gonna cut cardboard that fits right across from one side to the other to 
to put in the middle. I'm gonna glue this into the middle. So this is what the door should look like. If you guys don't like this door, you can do any door you wish you do. Now make the door handle. So how are you gonna make the door handle? It's gonna need some small bits of cardboard. And then you're going to want to stick this onto this part over here. And that will be a handle. You can make an identical one for the other side as well. You also want to stick the same border on this side as well, just to cover up this. Okay, so now I've finished doing the door. I'm going to leave it to the side. Just make sure it still fits in that little hole you cut out. I'm going to decorate this outside bit. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to put some windows in. Okay, so I've now finished the front of the shop, which is here. So this is what it looks like at the front of the shoe box. Just place it in like so. So I match this to the wallpaper inside. This yellow is matching the floor here. And then I added the logo here and a window. How I did the window is I just used my scissors and just carved it in. If you do that, then please have adult supervision if you're under the age of 13 because you may get hurt. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside now and I think our bread is ready now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the display case. I'm not going to glue it down because, you know, it just adds that extra detail and we can actually like take them out and give it to the customers and they can bring it with them. Okay, so I now placed them all on the cabinet like that. I didn't put all of them because these are still drying. Those will go outside, but these ones are going to go inside. But now I'm going to make some, what do you call them, tongs to pick up the bread. So we're going to need some like foil. I'm going to cut a strip. Then you're going to want to fold in half, fold it again. And now when you fold it again, you're going to want to curve the ends a bit like this. I'm going to put some glue on this white part here and then it'll be easier to use. I also went ahead and um, trimmed off all the excess white I could see. And now you're actually done with the tongs. They actually does pick up stuff. Let me pick up this. Oh, that's too heavy, but you know, it still picks up stuff. I'm going to place it in that hole. So right in there like that. I can say that we are nearly finished with the inside. We just need to finish off with these drinks right there and then we'll be finished off with the inside stuff. I'm making like this, I don't know what it's called but I'll put an image on the screen right now. You know those like flower things? So like I'm gonna put them off to the side to like show people that I took a bakery and like they're selling flour. You have to make breads and stuff. First thing you're gonna get your paper and you're gonna want to cut out a huge rectangle. The size of your rectangle depends on how big you want your flower thing to be. This is optional, you don't have to do it like that to so make sure all the sides are even now what you're gonna do is you're going to fold the paper two times and there should be a little left over so you fold it two times and a little left over so it should look something like a little container thing you're going to want to fold this section in half and then this section in half as well now we have two column a one column a two column and a one column you're going to want to cut the top bits at an angle like that and then for the single lines you're going to want to cut like that and then you're gonna make it into a trapezium so it looks like that so it should look something like this i don't know how i explained it but i just i just used tape to do it you want to gather at all of those tabs and put them into the center you know how at the end there are like two single tabs well those two single tabs you stick them together so it should look something like this now you're going to want to stuff the inside of this with anything i'm just gonna use some scraps of tissue you don't want to fill it to the brim, stuff it a little bit. Try push it all the way to the bottom so you still have space. I just stuffed it all the way to there. Now you're gonna want to bend where it is, so like that. Just try bend it into this shape. There's like a flat part. And then you're going to just roll the um the excess here all the way to the bottom. This is what it should look like. I did really bad explaining it, so I'm really sorry if I didn't explain it well. You can just type it in the comments and I can try help. I'm gonna get a little sheet of paper like this, around this much, and I'm gonna write flour on it. I'm gonna stick that with tape onto the bag. Make sure not to put your fingers onto the tape so make it like more clear because if you do put your fingers on the tape then you can see all your fingerprints and everything it's not very nice. Like that and then now you just need to make more. So I made three in total and I just stuck it in the row here. I also made some of these like packaging things so you can put the bread in it and I'll show you how to can make that right now. This is optional so you don't have to do it. First you're going to want to cut out like a piece of paper that you want 
hopefully I'm just cutting around this much. Then you're gonna fold it in half. You're gonna pinch the corners where you creased it towards the inside. So it's like, you pinch it so it's like that. And then you do the same to the other side. And you just like push them together so it's like that. And now you use tape and you're just gonna tape just one side to the other side. And repeat that for the other side. And then I'm gonna tape the bottoms here so they don't fall. And then now you can use your tweezers to just open the top up. And then you can just like air out even at the sides and that's how you make it grab the bread and you can put it in there and then your pets can bring it home so that's how you make it and then now i'm gonna place it where the other bags are i changed where i wanted to put it i just placed it above here instead of down there because it was easier to get for when i film okay guys so that was the end of part three part four will be out soon part four will be focusing more about the outside and on the drinks i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and if you subscribe hit that bell notification to get notified when i post videos and when i upload a part four to this craft series like to let me know if you enjoyed comment down below any questions you have love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time bye